Well, hello, this is Tamsin, and um, I wanted to share another dream that I had had. This is January 5th, 2017, the morning of, and um, I wanted to share a quick dream. You know, God's been giving me several dreams about President Trump, and, you know, I'm not asking for any of this, but... I'm going to get up and I'm going to share this and I don't care what people think but um, because it's from God and, and I believe that he does want me to share this so anyway just keep your your mind open in your heart and just hear what it is um, that I'm about to say and I had a few others that I did post up so anyways um, in this dream Donald Trump was sitting around a table with my family, okay, and um, I have never met Donald Trump. I've seen him a lot on um, TV and watched him speak. That's about all I can um, tell you of him and of the things that God is saying. But however, um, we're sitting around at a table with my family, and each one of my family members is asking him a question okay and he's taking the time out with us and he's like he's saying okay um what would you like to ask me and everybody was just kind of excited to ask what was on their heart so each one of us got around the table and we asked him what we wanted to ask him and the kids were just excited about that they thought that was the coolest thing and, um, you know, I really believe that God's revealing the character of this man, that he's willing to sit down. He's a family man. He did feel like family. It felt like we had a guest in our home. And he was very cordial, very humble, very down to earth, very good sense of humor. We laughed. And, um, you know, I really believe that's the heart of Donald Trump. I know he's stern and um, he's got his face set like flint. But you know what? On the on the flip side, this man is tender. His heart is tender. And he loves unconditionally. And um, he's a man of his word. And so anyways, that's what I got from this conversation with him. Um, anyway, we all get up from this table. We go outside and we're walking and you know he's taken the time to continue to walk with us and talk with us and it was really neat and um, we're walking along and uh, you know we hear a, a child screaming in the background and we find that over this um, fence there's a child and um, on top of the fence there's barbed wire and so we're trying to figure out how this kid got over there and there was a small break in the fence. You know how kids are. They just, they want to play. So this child had got through this little piece of the fence, but neither one of us could get through it because we were too big. And and we're looking at this hole thinking, how are we going to get through this? And with no hesitation whatsoever, um, Donald Trump crawls up that, that fence and throws himself over it, over the barbed wire. He didn't even think twice about his safety he wasn't concerned about his own issues or how he was going to do it he just did it and he went over there and he got this child and figured out how to get him to safety he figured out the whole thing and we're standing there looking at him like oh sorry you know we didn't help but we couldn't figure this out quick enough so you know he's a game player he thinks quick on his toes he could figure out you know he could find a solution to a problem like real quick and so um you know cut the man a little bit of slack because in this dream it was like he had the heart of a real father he was willing to lay himself down for um you know lay his life down and lay his concerns down and just totally be non-selfish for the sake of this little child you know, and even Jesus said that he leaves the 99 just to go get the lost sheep. OK, and when we do that, and we get to that place. We have the true heart of the father. OK, we have Jesus Christ living in us, the hope of glory. And, and so anyways, just want to encourage you all with that dream. 
I really believe God's revealing the character of this man. I really feel, um, you know, touched right now that God is um, honored to give me these dreams because who am I? You know, I'm just a mom. You know, I work. I, you know, I pray. I love the Lord. And, you know, all of a sudden I'm getting these dreams and, you know, praise God. I'm going to share them. And, um, you know, I just wanted to encourage you all. Just stop judging, okay? Stop um, tearing people down. Not only speaking of our president and, you know, the current, the president that was in the White House previously. Whether or not you liked either one of them or you do or, or whatever, you, it's just time to get over it. It's time to pray. And, um, you know, because God knows the heart only of a man. We, we truly don't. We see what's on the outside. And, um, you know, with the discerning of spirits and all and the gifts, we can understand what's going on in the soul of the man. But God knows the heart. And truly, he knows who's going to be saved and who's going to run from him and reject him. And, um, you know, the Bible says in the last day, offenses will come. It says that in the Bible, in the last day, many offenses will come. And it says, woe unto them by whom the offense comes. So woe unto you if you're causing offense, if you're causing people to be offended. And if you're stirring up hate and strife and bitterness and anger, and you're being used as a tool by the devil because that's not of God. Now, there's a certain character of God that brings truth and justice and righteousness and, and, and understanding, okay? But there's the flip side of that, um, of it, where you've got the enemy constantly stirring up strife and division and hate against a mother and a daughter, against a son and a father, against friends, against family, against races. He's constantly edging it on. And, and it's time to see the light it's time to just get right with Jesus, get saved. If you do know the Lord and you are um, continuing in, you know, hate and, you know, stirring all that stuff up, the Bible says you're going to be held accountable for that unless you repent. We're going to be held accountable for every word that proceeds out of our mouth and what we do on this earth. So is he going to say, uh, you know, in that last and final day, enter into my rest, thou good and faithful servant, or depart from me, I never knew you. You know, God forbid. And, um, you know, it breaks the heart of the father, I think, when he sees his children and those who are called and they call themselves by his name and they're, they're working as a tool and a puppet of the devil. It's time to stop being Satan's puppet and to just stop in Jesus' name. Just stop. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the Bible says that you could be saved, that he died for you. That's why Jesus bled and was crucified and he rose again on the third day so that you can have everlasting life and you could be back in relationship with the Father wouldn't you like that okay so anyways i just wanted to encourage you with that dream okay um god is doing something in the earth and he is not by any means surprised at what's going on who's in office and all this other stuff he's god almighty my suggestion is is you just go with what he wants to do be humble Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he'll raise you up, okay? Um, just get on board. Get on board. Don't resist. Um, go with what God is doing in the earth, okay? And if you don't know what that is, ask him, and he'll reveal that to you. But by all means, by all means, if you are a Christian, it's time to pray, okay? Put politics aside, and just pray okay because the devil wants us distracted deceived and caught up in warring against one another instead of warring against him 
See, he's smart. He don't want you to find out about what he's doing so you could tear his kingdom down because the Bible says that um, the kingdom of God suffers violence, but the violent do what? We go take it by force. So it's time to go take the kingdom of hell by force, bust its gates open, and, um, you know, speak forth God's word in Jesus' name. All right? Now, with that being said, <laughs> be blessed, okay? And I look forward to making another video with you. I just feel very emotional today. And, um, you know, things are getting very interesting and I look forward to every day to see what God has in store for us. Okay? So be blessed. Father God, I thank you for these people that are watching this video. Father, I thank you for the power of God to go through this video, to reach them, to get a hold of their heart, and to completely bring them to your knees. Father, I ask that you would give them your heart, the heart of the Father, that they will know, Father God, what grieves you. That they will know what breaks your heart. That they will know, Father, what it is to truly serve you. And to truly love you. And to truly be set free. I break the power of hate. And I break the power of violence and murder and rage. And I command you in Jesus' name that you be broken. In Jesus' name for whoever's watching this video. And that you be set free in the power of God. That you be delivered. And that you know him, truly know him as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Father. Amen.